Hi, my name is Allison. I'm currently a junior here at Oakland University and I major in nursing and I will be giving you a virtual tour today. Um, so we're going to start in North Foundation Hall, which is actually our first building built on campus and it currently houses many of OU student services and resource offices. Um, these include our Office of Undergraduate Admissions, the Tutoring Center, Disability Support Services, the Center for Multicultural Initiatives, also known as our CMI office, Orientation and New Student Programs, the Office of Student Success, Student Financial Services, the First Year Advising Center, Career Services, and finally the Office of the Registrar. Um, so we are going to start in our Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Um, so this is where prospective students' applications arrive, and this is where they'll receive their admission decision, um, which is a very exciting moment. I was very excited when I received my admission letter from OU in the mail. Um, but our team of admission advisors are always happy to answer any questions that you may have, whether that be about applying or can guide you through the enrollment process. Um, the application requirements for incoming freshmen. This is a minimum of a 2.5 cumulative GPA, as well as at least a 960 on the SAT or an 18 on the ACT. For transfer students, you will need a minimum of a 2.5 GPA and at least 24 college credits. Um, if you have less than 24 credits, we will ask for your high school transcript. Um, currently, we are offering test optional admission um, for freshman students entering in the fall 2020 and 2021 semesters, um, meaning that we may not need your ACT or SAT scores to make an admission decision. Um, but however, this may affect your scholarship or any other eligibility. Um, so we just ask if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact our office. Next up, we have our Disability Support Services Office. Um, so here they provide accommodations for students with any physical, cognitive, or emotional disabilities. Um, so this could be from um, either in a classroom or in a housing um, here on campus. Services can vary from extra time taking an exam, or you may have a personal note taker if you break your hand, anything like that. Um, all you need is a doctor's note and to make an appointment with the office um, and you'll be able to get any accommodation you need. They're very flexible and kind um, and just want to help you succeed in your college experience. Next up we have our tutoring center. So here at OU we offer free tutoring which is amazing um, for any students that are currently taking classes here at OU. They offer both drop-in and appointment tutoring from um, zero to most 3,000 level classes. And we also offer a number of upper level um, tutoring for classes as well. Um, they, offer, they also offer supplemental instruction, or you'll hear it called SI. Um, so this is a free program here at OU that provides organized study sessions about two to three times a week um, for students enrolled in more traditionally difficult classes, um, most of them being science, math, and music theory. Um, sessions are conducted by supplemental instruction leaders um, who have successfully completed this course um, and then are trained by the tutoring center. Um, so if you're interested in working on campus, which I definitely recommend, um, the tutoring center is always looking for student office assistants, peer tutors, and supplemental instruction leaders. Um, so if you feel like you've really um, mastered a course um, and feel really good about it, you can definitely help those students who are still kind of struggling, um, which is an awesome opportunity. Okay, so we are gonna move on to our Student Financial Services Office. Um, so this office deals with anything with financial aid, student employment, scholarships, and more. Um, this staff can also help you fill out the federal application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. Um, so this makes students eligible for receiving OU grants and any other aid available. Um, and the FAFSA opens every October 1st. So you will always hear the financial staff reminding students to fill this out um, just because they want you to optimize the amount of aid that you can get to help pay for college. Um, you can also set up financial appointments. I know my family and I do this every fall at the beginning um, just to kind of work out a game plan of how we're going to pay for this year um, with a financial advisor and they kind of break it down for you. Um, so they're super helpful in helping especially me understand um, what I need to do in the coming year. Next up is our first year advising center. Um, so this is a resource for first year students or those who are still deciding on their major. Um, so you will be assigned an advisor to help you out throughout the year and you'll meet with them at least three times a year once at orientation, once in the fall semester, and then once in the winter semester. 
Um, so your advisor is here to assist you in scheduling your classes and will kind of act as your support system in navigating your first year at OU. Um, you always hear about that transition from um, high school to college. So your advisor is definitely here to kind of bridge that gap um, and help you transition as smoothly as possible. Um, they can also assist you in career exploration and finding or refinding your major. Um, so after your first year or once you've declared a major beyond your first year, um, you will then move on to your own school of advising. Um, for example, you move on to the School of Business Advising, the School of Engineering Advising. Um, so you'll have your own advising office within your school, which is an awesome um, resource available to students. Okay, finally we're going to move on to our Career Services Office. Um, so this office provides students with numerous resources and opportunities um, to navigate their future career. Um, the Career Studio is always open on a drop-in basis, so students can come in at any time and have a resume workshop or get interview and career advice, anything like that. Um, you may also schedule an appointment to have a mock interview. Um, so I know I did this when I was interviewing um, actually for my job in admissions. Um, so they kind of ask you some of the common interview questions, give you tips and pointers on um, ways to reword answers, anything like that. So it's super helpful. Um, they can help you find job opportunities and also learn to use Handshake. Um, so Handshake is our ultimate job search and networking platform at OU for students, alumni, and employers. Um, so jobs are avail always available on there, whether they're on-campus jobs, off-campus jobs, or internships. Career Services also hosts a variety of networking events, including the biggest, which is each semester's um, career fair. Um, and this allows students to meet employers and secure potential jobs or internships. This office is very important in kind of navigating your future career because, you know, that's why we're here in college. Um, and they are definitely here to help you succeed um, in anything you may need. Okay, next up we have our Oakland University SEAL. Um, so this is located right outside of North Foundation Hall, South Foundation Hall, and the Oakland Center. Um, so it's right smack dab in the middle. But the sail symbolizes Ulysses' ship and the pursuit for knowledge. Um, and legend has it, if you step on the seal, you will be cursed to fail your exams. Um, so don't be surprised when you come on campus, you'll see students veering every which way around it. Um, but don't worry, there is a special way to cure the curse that we will tell you about later, so stay tuned. Um, next up, we have our Elliott Clock Tower. So you can never miss it on campus. It is 151 feet tall, and it was a donation by the Elliott family. It actually has 49 bells in it, and they were all imported from the Netherlands. Um, the bell rings every 15 minutes, and then, so every 15 minutes is like a quarter of a song, um, and then when you hit the 60 minute or the hour mark, it will play the full song. Um, so that's always a good indicator of kind of where we are in the day, um, especially when you're going to classes. Um, and a cool feature is that you can climb the clock tower upon graduation for a donation of your graduation year. Um, so, for example, if you're graduating in 2021, you will donate $20 and 21 cents to climb the clock tower. Um, so that is a really cool feature. Um, it's a really great landmark for OU's campus um, and is a defining factor um, of Oakland University. Okay, so we're going to move on to our Oakland Center, um, which is personally my favorite spot on campus. Um, so our Oakland Center, also known as our OC, was recently renovated and expanded in 2018. Um, the renovation added more food options, um, new ballroom spaces for different events, as well as new areas for just students to study and hang out with friends. Um, and that's really why it's my favorite place, because it's just a big open space, a lot of comfy seating, food, um, and it's kind of a right in the middle of campus, so it's kind of the catch-all. Um, and I know a lot of my friends that commute, as well as live on campus, um, this is a really good space to hang out in between classes or work, um, whatever you have going on. Inside the Oakland Center, we have our Pioneer Food Court. Um, so this is home to our Panda Express, um, Wild Blue, which serves poke bowls, sushi, and ramen, um, Halal Shack, or which serves Mediterranean food, and I kind of call it like a Mediterranean Chipotle, like it kind of has that layout, which is super fun. Um, and also Subway. There's also Plum Market, which serves different foods from around the world um, each day of the week. And attached to Plum Market, we have Zingerman's Coffee, which serves everything from grab-and-go sandwiches to frozen yogurt and coffee. Frozen yogurt and coffee, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so good. 
The Habitat, which is in the OC as well, is a theater-style room where many events happen on campus, such as game nights, movie nights, and guest performers. Um, they have, like, comedy nights in here as well. Um, and when our basketball team is away, sometimes they um, broadcast the games on the big screen, and some people come and watch. It's really fun. Um, the Habitat is also a great place just to, again, it's a big open space with a lot of outlets, um, places to eat, like bean chairs, um, so a great place to hang out as well. Moving on to like the basement of our OC, um, we have our Bear Cave, which is a great place to grab some pizza or chicken tenders. Again, food, amazing. Um, it's also a great place to play pool or video games. Um, so this is free, um, the pool and video games. Um, they have like a help desk that you can run out video game consoles. Um, and you'll see a lot of people here in between classes just having that relax relaxation period um, with all the stress going on in their lives. Um, also in the Bear Cave, this is where a Super Smash Bros club meets. Um, so again, another club you can join and be involved on campus to meet new people. We have our WXOU, which is our student-run radio station. Um, so regardless of your major, you can host your own radio station for students to come listen to. Um, it could be music. I know some people have done podcasts on different things, such as like hiking, um, plants, um, honestly anything you could think of. Um, and they also, right outside the radio station, they have a really cool table where they sometimes they give out free flyers for stuff going on around the community, as well as free CDs. We always love that. Um, so super fun place to go. We also have our bookstore. So this is where you can buy or rent new or used textbooks. Um, a really cool feature is that the bookstore price matches with Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Um, so you're most likely getting that cheapest option available because um, text textbooks aren't cheap. Um, so also knowing that you have that on campus is an awesome opportunity. Um, in addition to textbooks, it's also a great place to buy some OU swag. If you're ever looking for something OU, bookstore is probably your top choice you should go. Um, I know for Christmas or my parents' birthday, I'm always getting them a hat, a mug, a t-shirt, anything you can really think of. Um, so it's an awesome place to go if you want to buy some OU swag. Also, we have our Gender and Sexuality Center. Um, so this is a great resource for students of the LGBTQIA community um, to get mentoring and get involved on campus. Um, and OU is actually named the most LGBTQ safe campus in the state of Michigan. Um, so we are super, super proud of that. Um, super inclusive campus. Um, the staff in here is absolutely amazing. Nicest people I've ever known. Um, and they do a bunch of peer mentoring. Um, where you can be a mentor or a mentee. Um, and they also do Pride Month, um, Pride Parades. I know they had some in the summer, which are super fun. Um, so a great place to be as well. Right next to that, we have our Office of Student Involvement. Um, so this is the home to over 300 student organizations. Yes, I said 300. Um, this includes fraternities and sororities, club sports, religious-based, political-based, major-based, and interest-based organizations. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting involved on campus, um, whether that's one clubs, two clubs, working on campus, anything like that. Um, my freshman year, I didn't, I wasn't really involved because I was really focused on studying, which is obviously important as well. Um, but this year, my sophomore year, I really got involved on campus, joining Greek life. Um, I joined some uh, Christian club as well as working on campus. Um, and that really has changed my OU experience and meeting new people um, all around campus. So I definitely recommend that. And the OSI is also an awesome place to hang out. The staff is absolutely amazing. Um, and they have a coffee machine. They have a Wii. What else could you want? Okay, so moving on, we have our food pantry. Um, so this is a great resource for students. You can either donate or receive food as a student. Um, it's a kind of no questions um, organization. So you just take whatever you need if you are in that situation. Um, and a lot of people also volunteer here for volunteer hours, um, anything like that. Right across, we have our Student Technology Center. Um, so this is also a great resource for students. Um, they have desktops, laptops, um, those WEPA printers I was talking about earlier in Kresge, um, they have one in here as well, as well as a technology help desk. So again, if you come into any problems with your technology, um, they are definitely able to help. Um, and here they rent out um, electronic software as well. Um, I know people have rented out GoPros and stuff like that. Um, again, completely free, so that's amazing. 
Okay. Moving on, we have our student program board. Um, so this puts a lot of fun activities for students um, to do. Um, some of the bigger ones being our Welcome Week Carnival and our Casino Night. Um, those are really big events here at OU that people love to go to. Um, as well as they put on a spring concert at our, Meadow at our Meadowbrook Amphitheater. Um, and some recent performers have been Black Bear and Kyle, as well as Nick Jonas. So that's super fun. Again, different ways for students to get involved on campus. Finally, in our Oakland Center, um, we have our Oakland University Student Congress. Um, so this is here just to advocate for students. Um, they have done so many great things around campus, such as um, in making Kresge Library open 24 hours, as well as putting hammocks around campus. We love hammocks. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of our voices, because um, obviously we have a really big student body here at OU, and we want to make sure everyone is heard, um, and having those people in place to advocate for us is super awesome. They also do a really cool thing called our OU Swag Exchange. Um, so you can bring in a, a shirt or a sweatshirt from another university, um, and you can trade it in for a free OU shirt. So they do shirts, sweatshirts, I believe they do sweatpants as well. Um, so a great way to get OU swag. Um, so many resources in the OC, um, amazing place to hang out and get involved on campus um, and meet new people. Okay, so next we're going to go to Kresge Library. Um, so Kresge is open 24 hours a day, um, and it's a great place to study. Personally, it's my favorite place to study, um, just with all the available study spaces, um, different study atmospheres, as well as all the resources available. After midnight, um, Kresge is just accessible to Oakland University students, um, and student IDs are checked. So whether if you're walking in at midnight, your ID will be checked, as well as if you're already in the library studying, um, a member of the library staff will come around and just make sure, check those IDs and make sure you're OU students. Um, within the library, there are four floors. Um, the first floor being the private study room floor. Um, so you will just go to Kresge's library website and you can reserve these rooms for a certain amount of hours um, if you want that individualized um, study space. The second floor um, has different technology resources as well as a writing center. Um, so we kind of call this our resource floor. Um, our third floor is our completely quiet floor. Um, so this is strongly enforced. Um, they always say if a pin drops, people will hear it. So if you really like that quiet, um, individualized study space, the third floor is definitely for you. And finally, our fourth floor has many open spaces to work in groups. Um, whether if you have a big group project and you all want to work on it together, or if you're studying with some friends or a study group, um, these are definitely, the fourth floor is definitely the spot for you. We have a service desk here at Kresge where you can check out books, laptops, chargers, and even bones. Um, so I know as a nursing student in many health sciences, pre-med, anything like that, um, you were definitely required to take a, an, anatom an anatomy course. Um, so I definitely use, utilize these bones at the library. They knew my name, which was sad. Um, but they were super helpful and an awesome resource. Um, we also have this thing called interlibrary loan. So if OU does not have the book that you are looking for, they you can actually put in a request um, and they will find that book from another library so you can use it completely free. Um, the library also has some textbooks on hold if you, um, if you haven't purchased them on your own and then you can rent them out from the library. So super helpful, super cost effective. Um, we love that. Um, the computers in the library, which there are plenty, um, they are loaded with different types of software that you might need for classes. Um, so if you don't want to purchase something for your own laptop or desktop, um, odds are the library laptop or laptops or desktops have them as well. Um, we have this printing um, spots called WEPA printing stations, both in all over the library as well as all throughout campus. Um, so you either upload your materials directly, whether it's via just uploading them from your computer or Google Drive. I know I utilize Google Drive a lot. Um, as well as you can use a flash drive if you stick that right in um, and you can print anything that you need. Each student will get $5 worth of free prints each semester. Um, and on these printing stations, you can do black and white printing, colored printing, double-sided, um, anything in that sort. We also have the help, help desk um, located on the second floor in the library. Um, and they are here to help you with any technology issues that you may have, whether that's getting locked out of your student account, 
um, or any computer issues you might have. Um, so I know my computer just froze up during finals last semester um, and I had an essay due at midnight so I was like oh no. Um, so I just ran down there real quick and they were able to help me in like 15-20 minutes. Absolutely amazing. We also have a cafe which serves salad sandwiches and Starbucks drinks. Um, it is open until midnight on weekdays and is a great place to get some coffee during a late night study session or throughout the day, whatever you whatever you do. Um, we also have the writing center, which is free, re again, free um, resource for students where they can bring in their paper at any phase of the writing process and have help with um, aspects such as grammar, um, citations, formatting, or any issues that you may have. Um, so you will work directly with a writing consultant um, and they will help work your paper through. Um, you can do drop-ins as well as appointments as well. Um, so I would make appointments like a day or two before my essays do, um, just so they can do like a final read through, make any grammar, um, corrections, anything like that. And they're also currently offering virtual appointments. So that's super fun um, and very flexible. Finally, on our second floor, we have our maker space. Um, so this is a creative space for students to use um, and has equipment such as 3D printers or vinyl cutters for any project that you may be working on. Um, so people may use these for classes um, and I've also seen people just use them for fun. Um, you can make like phone cases, all kind of fun stuff. Um, so, so many resources in the library is a great place to study um, and again, completely free. So super awesome. Okay, so our next stop is our recreation center. Um, this, so this holds our Olympic size swimming pool, a track, basketball courts, um, studios for group exercise classes, a weight room, a cycling room, and so much more. Um, it is completely free to all Oakland University students currently enrolled in at least one credit hour. Um, if you also want a guest to come for a day, so let's say you have a friend come up for the weekend or, or a family member visiting and they want to work out with you, um, it's only a $5 single day pass for guests um, to use all the amenities in the rec center. Um, so that's super cost effective. Um, the rec center also houses many of our club and intramural sports. Um, so this is a great way to get involved on campus and meet new people, um, whether if you played a sport in high school or you just enjoy playing something. Um, we have anything from like soccer, softball, football, anything like that. Um, so those are a great way to get involved in campus and stay active. Like I mentioned, our rec center holds our Olympic sized swimming pool that is 50 meters long um, and it is available for students to use when not being in use by the swim team. Um, the facility also contains a hot tub, which is great. Um, so a lot of people utilize this for post-workout cooldowns or relaxation sessions, anything like that. A really awesome feature that I personally love about the Rec Center is our free group exercise classes. Um, we also call them our Group X classes that are available for all students, again, completely free. Um, this includes everything from yoga to Zumba, um, kickboxing, cycling, honestly anything in between. Um, what I really love is that they post a schedule online on the Rec Center website um, that literally has every time and what classes are being held on which date. Um, so I could try and fit in a class um, a few times a week in my schedule um, between classes and working, anything like that, studying. Um, so it's super awesome because I usually don't know where to start when working out. So having a professional instructor lead me through a fun workout um, is also super great and again completely free. We also have our workout room on the bottom floor that has over 100 pieces of workout equipment for students to use. Um, and all the machines were actually recently placed to celebrate our 20th anniversary of the rec center. Um, so everything is super up to date. Um, and usually like there's plenty of equipment to use um, depending on the time of day you go. Um, we also have our fitness ambassadors in there as well that can help you with if there's any problems with the equipment, if you're kind of confused on where to start, how to use it, um, they are there for um, your help. Um, we also have our three-court basketball court that is available. So it has three full-size courts. Um, so three games of basketball can be going on at the same time. And then above the courts, we have our four-lane walking and running track that is one-tenth of a mile. And when you go on, it'll have like an arrow to show you which way um, they're going today. So there's plenty of different opportunities to stay active um, within the rec center. We also have our, our newly installed Priority Health Fitness Court. 
Um, so this is right outside of the recreation center and it's filled with a variety of workout equipment. Um, so it's a great way to get a workout um, and sunshine at the same time. At the same time, so if you really like working out outside, um, this is a great place to go. And you can also within the court, you can just do your own workout, or you can download um, an app through the um, app store, and it'll have a full workout for you to use um, with the equipment in the health fitness court. So definitely different ways to get involved on campus and stay healthy. Um, and I definitely recommend taking advantage of all these free resources that OU provides. Okay, um, right next to the rec center, we're gonna move to the O arena. Um, so the O arena is home to our basketball and our volleyball courts. Um, and it actually houses the first ever blacktop basketball court. Um, so it looks super unique and super fun. I absolutely love it. And I think it creates um, a really creative feature to OU. Um, we are currently a Division I school, and we play in the Horizon League. Um, admission to all of our sporting events is completely free with your student ID. Um, so that's super awesome for students, especially on a budget. Um, you can go support your teams, whether it be swimming, softball, um, basketball, anything in between. Um, you can go to those completely free with your ID. We also have our Grizz Gang. So our Grizz Gang is our student cheering section. Um, so it's actually a club on campus, um, but you can just join whenever you want if you want to go to a game. Um, the Grizz Gang tries to represent at every sport, um, so you'll see a little clump of students um, with full out OU gear um, coming to support their team. Um, and it's a great way to show your Grizzly pride with fellow students um, and meet fellow students as well. Moving on right outside the arena is our Grizzly statue. Um, so this is a great photo opportunity for future um, and prospective students as well as current students. A lot of students take really fun um, first day of school pictures there and all that fun stuff. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, so that legend I was telling y'all about um, when you step on the sail, um, you can reverse your bad luck here um, by rubbing the Grizz's belly. Um, so once in a while, you'll see a student kind of do a little of this. Um, they're just trying to reverse the curse. So if you ever come in that situation, now you know where to go. So moving on, we're going to head to O'Dowd Hall. Um, so this is a very versatile building um, at OU, but it's primarily home to the Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine. Um, O'Dowd also contains departmental advising, breakout study rooms, and dedicated classroom spaces. Um, I know O'Dowd has a few lecture halls. I know my freshman year I had um, some supplemental instruction as well as classes, um, generally science classes in O'Dowd. Um, so if you're in that type of major, um, you'll probably be in O'Dowd quite a bit. Great place to be. Um, for undergraduate students, though, this is where they'll find their College of Arts and Sciences advising, advising offices, as well as the Office of Global Engagement, in which they run the Study Abroad and Study Away programs. Um, I cannot recommend Study Abroad um, more. I've had so many friends and colleagues do Study Abroads um, that they absolutely loved and really changed their college experience. Um, and I'm hoping in the next year or two, I'll be able to um, grab one and be on a trip. Um, they do ones in majors as well, especially science majors. So for nursing and health sciences, um, you can go, I know for nursing, it's Italy and China, um, and they're trying to expand even more with that. With that. Um, you can go to hospitals and doctor's offices um, in those countries and kind of see how their um, health system works, um, which is really cool and really broadens your perspective um, of healthcare in general. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, and the study abroad office is super awesome and they're always open to um, discussing what kind of trips um, and opportunities that they have. Okay, so next up we have our Grimm Health Center. Um, so half of it is our on-campus health center, which is staffed by licensed nurse practitioners and physician's assistants, um, all with extensive education and clinical experience. Um, so here you can get from anything from um, just a flu shot, um, if you need a physical for uh, work or school, um, really anything. If you're just feeling gross and you need to come in and see what's going on, um, they can definitely help you out with that. Um, here they accept most insurances, which is really convenient, um, and you don't really have to worry about going home um, to go to your doctor's office. Um, I live a couple hours away, so it was really convenient for me when I was feeling yucky last year um, just to come in and see what's going on. The other half is our OU Counseling Center. Um, so this is ran by licensed psychologists. Um, so here your first six visits are free. 
Um, and then any other visit after that is only $12. Um, so this is really nice. College is stressful. Um, and sometimes students just need a break um, to just talk things out, um, get help. So we encourage um, speaking out and getting help here at OU. Um, and it's a great opportunity for students um, to receive that. So we are going to head to our human health building. Um, so HHB houses the School of Nursing as well as the School of Health Sciences. Um, the building itself is LEED certified platinum, meaning it is very eco-friendly. Um, it is absolutely beautiful inside and out. This five-story building includes state-of-the-art classrooms, distant learning labs, interactive media centers, computer simulated clinical labs, and an on-site clinic and physical therapy facility. Um, there is a cafe on the first floor of HHB that serves grab-and-go um, items such as sandwiches, snacks, um, as well as serving Starbucks drinks. So we definitely need those as nursing and um, health sciences majors. Um, the nursing floor, there are many interactive labs for nursing students um, that have lifelike mannequins for students to practice on before going into their clinical experiences. Um, we also call these our simulation labs, our sim labs. Um, so it's set up like a real life hospital room. Um, we have mannequins that are full size adults. Um, we have pediatric ones, geriatric ones. Um, so this really helps students prepare for that environment of a hospital. Um, and professors run the simulations um, from anything from a code to a um, birth, anything like that and in between. Um, so this is really awesome for OU nursing students um, really to get that experience and we're very lucky to have those resources available to us. There's also two additional labs for nursing students, um, both the health assessment lab and our nursing therapeutics lab. Um, so this is where students will practice more of their nursing skills before heading into the sim labs. Um, these skills can, can range from um, just doing a head-to-toe -to assessment and taking blood pressure um, to starting IVs and starting catheters. Um, these basic skills are absolutely crucial to becoming a nurse um, and are kind of the base of um, the curriculum. We also have their physical therapy labs for pre-physical therapy students um, with lots of hands-on equipment for students to use. Um, I can't emphasize enough how much equipment and resources we have um, in HHB, um, especially for health sciences and nursing majors. Um, getting that clinical experience um, and just hands-on experience is crucial. Um, classrooms in HHB are set up in an interactive way um, with movable tables and chairs for collaboration. Um, so I think that's what I love about the human health building the most is that there are classrooms, but they're all set up for um, kind of hands-on learning, collaborative learning, um, because, you know, they're the future medical professionals. We need to learn how to do those things. Um, so that's super fun. And then finally, the advising offices for the School of Nursing and School of Health Sciences are in the building as well. So that is super convenient for students um, if they have an advising appointment or a quick question for their advisor, um, as well as class and HA. Okay, so we're going to move on to one of our residence halls here on campus, Oakview Hall. Um, so Oakview was built in 2014 and is the home to our Honors College, and it houses approximately 500 freshmen and upperclassmen students. Um, Oakview's lobby is open 24-7 to students to get together, to hang out, or study at any time. Um, and there's high-top tables with outlets, and low-top tables with movable chairs, um, comfy couches and chairs. Um, so there's definitely a place for everyone to study or hang out. Um, Tilly's Cafe is also located in Oakview's Lounge um, and is open until midnight for students to get any late night snacks that they'd like. Um, and they sell everything from hot soups and sandwiches to frozen foods and coffee. Um, their soups and sandwiches are so addicting and they're so good. Um, when I lived there last year, I went like every day. Um, Oakview also has a service desk as well as um, residence halls on campus. Um, so our service desk provides free vacuum as well as free toilet paper. So here at OU, if you provide an um, empty roll of toilet paper and you turn it in, um, you get a free roll back. So very cost effective and nice. Um, this is also where you'll pick up packages. Um, so when you come to OU, you will get your own mailing address. So packages can be sent there um, as well as your own mailbox. So you will get uh, a room key to your room and you will use that room key to access your mailbox. Um, so I always give my parents um, and family and friends my mailing address just if they want to send letters or care packages. It's super fun. 
Also in the lobby of every residence hall, um, including Oakview, we have Night Watch. So this is a program um, where two Night Watch workers are working in there from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, and they are just swiping OUIDs um, to get up to the residence halls. Um, this is a, just an extra safety precaution um, that OU takes um, and is really um, helpful to get everywhere where they, everyone where they need to go. So Oakview contains suite style rooms that accommodate two people. Um, so these rooms include a kitchenette with a microwave and a mini refrigerator, so you don't have to worry about bringing that, which is really nice, um, as well as a controllable AC and a bathroom. Russian style rooms are two people to a bedroom, so two people in one bedroom. And um, upperclassmen rooms are one person per bedroom with a shared living space between two students. Um, so you have like a little common room, um, and then you'll have two separate rooms, so each person will get their own room. Um, in Oakview, you get free laundry as well, and there's laundry on each floor, so you don't have to worry about scoundering out those coders. Um, the only thing you have to bring is like detergent and anything you'd use with that. Also with Oakview, there's so many different um, common spaces within the floors, um, and there's different study spots. I know when I lived there, I tried to get out of my room and my desk um, and try to explore a new study space um, and find one that really worked for me. And every residence hall is too, I just wanted to mention, um, we have these things called RAs, which are resident assistants and APMs, academic peer mentors. Um, so these are just people you can go to um, if you have any issues, both academically or with your room, um, or if you want to tell them good things. I was really um, close to my RA this year, um, and she just let me talk about life, or if I did good on an exam or bad on an exam. Um, so it's really nice to have those mentors there um, to help guide you through that year. So for all students who are living in this building, they are part of the Honors College. Um, so the Honors College is a program which enrolls academically strong undergraduate students um, who strive for the highest distinction. Um, so they are offering unique additional scholarships, um, dedicated housing, which is Oakview Hall, um, smaller class sizes, and a flexible curriculum. Um, one-of-a-kind research, and in the Honors College, um, your senior year, you'll be doing a senior thesis as well. They offer creative opportunities in a collaborative environment. The Honors College helps guide students in every degree towards success. Um, also a really fun feature about Oakview is that you have the Honors College office right in the lobby of Oakview. Um, so if you ever have a quick question or you set up an advising appointment, um, you can just head down there in your sweatpants. Um, I know that's what I did um, and they will be happy to help you there. Students with at least a 3.7 GPA and a 1200 SAT or a 25 ACT um, when applying to OU are automatically offered a place in the Honors College, which is really nice. Um, you don't really have to worry about an extra application if you meet those requirements. However, those with at least a 3.3 GPA, 1000 on the SAT or a 19 on the ACT are encouraged to apply. Um, the Honors College is super flexible. Um, and they really want to encourage students to um, get involved in the university, especially through the Honors College, um, and kind of strive towards their success. There are many benefits of being the Honors College. Um, first of all, getting priority registration in your classes. This is super helpful, um, especially if you're um, wanting to be in like a bigger classroom with limited spots. Um, this is super awesome to have, and you're the first person to register for your classes. You also get an extra $35 in WEPA printing. Um, so like I mentioned, all students get $5 of printing money, um, but when you're in the Honors College, you get $40. Um, so I know I used to print, or I still do, print out my PowerPoint slides. Um, so this was super helpful because I had ample amount of printing money to do that. And finally, you get the chance to live in Oakview Hall. Um, a lot of people love living in Oakview Hall, and it's really nice to have that Honors College um, community right at your doorstep. Okay, next up on our tour, um, and personally the most beautiful stop in my opinion, is Meadowbrook Hall. Um, so this is a 1920s mansion that was built by OU's founder Matilda Dodge Wilson. Um, and it's actually a National Historic Landmark, um, so we always have a lot of people coming out um, and taking a look at it. Um, tours are offered throughout the mansion, um, and one of my favorites is their holiday walk. Um, so obviously this is during the holidays, um, and I love the mansion when it's a bunch of snow on it, it's decorated for the holiday time. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, and I definitely recommend it. 
um, and also for OU students. Um, every year, OU puts on the Meadowbrook Ball. Um, so this is just a big ball. Um, you dress up all lavish and you get to go um, and have an awesome night. They do really fun events and cool rooms there, um, as well as um, you can take a tour as well. Um, so it's a really cool snippet of local history at OU um, and national history as well. Okay, so that concludes our virtual tour today. I just want to thank y'all for joining me and taking a look and learning some more about OU. Um, and I just want to wish you the best of luck in your college search process. Um, and I hope you find an amazing home for you. Go Grizzlies! Hi, we hope you enjoyed your virtual tour. If you have any further questions, feel free to email us at visit at oakland.edu or you can call our main office at 248-370-3360. If you'd like to view any of our other virtual tours, you can find those here. Once again, we hope you enjoyed your virtual tour and we hope to see you on campus soon. Thank you and go Golden Grizzlies!